there. This is Kathy at Tacoma Public Library welcoming you to another crafting time and we are going to do a crafting time devoted to building a fairy house. So that's what this is. Hope you can see it. We're going to be building a fairy house and if you can see I'm going to show you a couple of my more interesting ones. Here's one. Now, this is nothing you can't get out of your recycling bin or from a walk on a beach or in a park. This is a bunch of different things. So soup can, the base, if you can see it. You can see little seed pods. You can see the stuff falling off of it. They were glued on. Some little paint. This is a, a lid. It's painted. It's a little cardboard painted from a box. And these are seashells. I admit I got these from the dollar store, but they were just glued on. This is another lid. And these are little leaves from a pine cone and when I put them all together this goes on top and I didn't glue it all together because I wanted to see you to see it and there you go and you know what I'm going to take this out of the way so when you put it all together you get a kind of little stumpy house this is supposed to be the doorway and I did a little painting with glitter but I really meant that to be a button or something, but being home right now, I don't have access to all my stuff, so I don't have any buttons right now, but you could, you know, glue a little rock there or paint a little shape or whatever you like to be the doorknob. And there you go. That's one of them, but I actually have a lot of different ones. Um, here's one. No, this is not a gigantic pine cone. <laughs> this is a piece of plastic. This is an old placemat. I just cut out a little cone shape. And I taped it together to make a little cone. And then I glued pine cone leaves to it to make a little a large pine cone top. This is the roof. This is a tomato, a tomato can, like stewed tomatoes. And I used a bunch of different stuff to make the surface. I cut a pine cone in half. And by the way, that was way harder than I thought it would be. Sticks and rocks. I glued that. All of these stuff I gathered on walks. And this is a little glass jewel, a little piece of foil for the doorknob. I painted the whole can black so you didn't see silver. Uh, one thing I did find, always have the can downward. And I deliberately made the can, the, the little sticks, a little high so the roof would set kind of on top of it like that. So I'm going to put these back. Over there. I hope you can all saw that. And here is my last one over here. Okay, this is a piece of cardboard. Can you see that? Just a bunch of triangles and glued together. Sticks, seashells, just dried straw. You can get that from your garden just dry it out some seashells again this is just from uh, the dollar store you can get a big package of mixed seashells for a dollar or if you go to the beach now the white shells that was the white excuse me the white rocks and the white shells or were all dollar store things I had an old package of that in the bottom of my crafting supplies and I decided to use it now this, these were 
little sticks from um, ice cream sticks and I had some leftover ones, a whole bunch of them. So I just painted them and stuck them on and a little green jewel. This is a door, as you can see, and this is a flower pot, a plastic flower pot. So I painted it white so you didn't see a green flower pot through the rocks. And so when you put it on here, you got a rather cool fairy house, depending on how you want to do it. Basically, I'm trying to show you, you can use anything for a flare, a fairy house. Here's one I'm not finished with. I'm not sure if I will finish it. This is a big milk container. These rocks I gathered from all over the place. I'm not sure I like this. More ice cream sticks. This is going to be the door. Regular sticks kind of bordering it. I think I'm going to, I was supposed to use something to fill in the edges, but I think it's a little bit more work than I should have done. And the glue isn't quite working. This is a work in progress. We'll learn. And let me see. And do you see this? This was what the roof is going to be. I actually made one. Hold on for a second and I'll show you what it looks like. It's a little further away than I meant it to be. Do you see what I It worked out rather well. And this is what it is. And if you don't recognize what this is, it, these are. These are the containers that the little grape tomatoes come in. And it fits very well right over here. And I haven't glued anything together because I wanted people to see what this looks like. Anyway, I'm not sure if I'm going to actually grout this or if I'm going to peel all of these off and re-glue them tighter together. We'll see. This is all just an experiment. Now, what do you do? Well, what works better is, is, if, ooh, is if you have a glue gun. And the first thing you do, I'm going to use a little soup can. Please clean your soup can out. Here's some paint. Right here. I'm always way too impatient to just shoot it out. So here we go. there. And I always recommend you paint at least one layer of paint on on here because you need to have something to block out the bright silverness when you put the rocks in the rocks on it. I guarantee it looks very unattractive when you're trying to put the rocks on and you start to see the bright silver. It looks very strange. So you do this. And you totally paint the whole thing. And I'm using black, but you can use brown. That's a nice color. But just make sure it's dark. And we're done. And I'm going to set it to the side and wait till it dries. And I'm going to put this up here. 
and and no we're not going to work on this while it's still wet i have one already painted and dry and so we can work on it now it's better if you have a little plan going and decide what you actually want to put on your fairy house i have a bunch of stuff laying here i have sticks i have rocks i have pine cones I always think what's inexpensive and easy to get. You can use all sorts of things. If you are a serious crafter and you have lots and lots of craft supplies, maybe fake bricks, whatever, that's great. But most of us don't have a lot of that stuff ready to use. So I'm just saying you just go look out in your garden, go take a walk in your nearest park. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go and look at some rocks. I'm right here. And I'm going to look. I was taking a walk a few weeks ago and I saw some really small pine cones. They're all dried out and I thought I would use a combination of those, especially since I'm using such a small soup can. So I'm going to use a combination of weird, the more weirder shaped rocks I have, these, and small pine cones, and a glue. Now, if you have a glue gun, I say use a glue gun. It makes things much easier for you. And also... I have some tape because this tape, this glue dries quickly, but not as quickly as you would like it to. So I am going to put some glue on here and by the way, I want you to think about things. Don't worry if things don't work out right away. If you put the pine cone on and you decide, ew, I don't like that. Don't worry about it. You can always do something else. I want to do a combination of things. I like different textures. There. I wanted to use pine cones and rocks. See? So, now, because we're using the rocks, they're going to slide a lot. So be aware of that. So, so oops, now you see, we should wait. And I 
okay. Now this is the time I can already feel that things are sliding. So, I'm gonna use stuff to prop stuff up. Use tape and there. Okay. Now I'm going to pause the video and we're going to come back to this in about 10 minutes. You're not going to see this, so don't worry about it. Okay, I am back. And our project is, our project's glue has settled down a little bit more and we can get on with it. Okay, while we were pausing, pausing I went and got a piece of foam you see that this is to hold our can in place so I don't have to hold it <laughs> while it's drying that's not perfect but and I don't even remember where I got this and it's not perfect but it'll work so I'm going to put it to the side a little bit, and I think I'm going to get a little bit more glue on there, and put another little pine cone, and I think I get a little, put a dab of glue on that one. I think one of the things that makes it look nicer is if you're consistent with how you put put things together. If you've noticed before, pine cones, rock, rock, and then pine cones and a rock separating them. And I'm gonna Turn this over. I'm gonna lean this. Hopefully while this dries. And I'm going to start putting more rocks on this. It's not perfect, but if it was perfect, it wouldn't be something you put together. You would buy it. Now, one thing I want you to know is you just make sure all the rocks are touching. That helps a lot. And it, I don't think it really matters if all the rocks are the same size. I think there there we go now again setting We're going to set this aside over here 
going to take a little pause and we're going to wait for that to dry. And in case you didn't get it, we're waiting for that to dry, the glue to dry. We're going to cover that up. You can see my glue is incredibly tacky. And next, what we're going to do is we're going to set the frame for the roof. And if you're wondering what this is, this is half of, of a plastic placemat. And you're wondering, how do we know what to do? Anyway, this is the first one I did. We painted and we're gonna make a little circle there real quick that's just a circle and I'm gonna like put a dot right in the middle it's not perfect but I'm not trying to be perfect this is just a, and I want something that's going to be about Let's see twice again. And I'm sorry, I do not have a ruler. I would. So that's what we've got. And then. Okay. Why is this not perfect? It's because I needed a piece of string. Which again, somehow I have neglected to have that. The nice thing about this is that once I get it Basically, I just want a circle. This is more an oval than a circle, but that's okay. There we go. Then I use a little line right there and we cut out a triangle. The, the more of a triangle we cut out, the steeper the cone. And now we have a little cone. Now, of course, if I had been doing this correctly, I would have gotten a piece of string and a needle or a protractor or something and done that because that's how I learned to do it. But I don't have any of that here. But 
but I have a long shallow cone. Keep in mind, when you do this, you're not stuck with this. If you do this and you find out that it's a wrong size, you can always cut this again and make the cone steeper. Or trim it up a little bit more. And make it a little bit more rounder. Keep in mind, once you put all the pine, pine cone leaves on it, this will get substantially bigger. So keep that in mind when you do it. Now, the last thing I want you to do is put a little... paint on this so the pattern doesn't come through. Because it will look very odd. So, now you have your base for your roof. All done. Now you have to wait for that to dry. And let me see. And we're going to do a little pa another pause. Hello, we're back again. The glue has dried. We're going to do another stage. We're going to do a little bit more. And. Here we go. Okay. Okay, some more glue. Another pine cone. And if you might have noticed, I add some more pine cones to the table and some more rocks. And here is the big rock, another rock between the pine cones. There we go. Now, I'm going to put this aside, wait for it to dry, and I'm now, next thing we're going to do is think about, for this one, I'm going to do something a little different. I haven't mentioned the door. 
I'm going to do something a little fancier for this one. Now, I didn't mention the glass lozenges. This comes from, this is actual floral, something you got from the floral section of the dollar store. I actually don't know where I got this big ones. This is something I had in the bottom of my crafting things. I don't have very many of them, and I thought I would use this. And I laid these out earlier. I thought, what can I do? And I had some sticks, and I was messing around, and I just thought, I want to make a door. Now, this is going to be smaller. And this is a piece, this was a longer stick, and I broke it up, and this is what I came up with in messing around. So, this is going to be a door. There you go. And this will be the door. And I'm going to glue that onto the can. Hopefully it'll look pretty interesting once it's on the can and it'll obviously look like a door. I know sometimes it the vision doesn't come through, but that's what will that's what this will be. This will be the door. So I'm putting this aside. And I'll kind of leave that. And this is our roof. Now Actually, I think this is a bit large, so we can cut it down a little. Put that aside. Now, this is actually what this was. And this is what I used, this pine cone. And you're wondering how I did it. You just peel this off. You see? And when you put this together, you do it from the edges up. There's lots of different kinds of pine cones. And I picked these, I picked this one because they have really big leaves. And forgive the big mess, but this is kind of a messy process. As you pull this off, you get a little extra off from the actual frame of the pine cone. Don't let this stay on because as you start to glue them on, they can start interfering with each other. So take your scissors and kind of trim them up a bit. You see? It may not seem like a big deal now, but as you start building on top of each other, they can start interfering with each other. So, take a second 
and having more glue is never a bad thing. So just lay it on. Sorry about the noise just then, but that's outside my area of control. Now, don't worry about how long this just takes. Obviously, I'm going to speed through this. You're not going to see how long it takes. It does take a while. This whole thing takes, takes a while. Hopefully, You understand as you're doing this there's a time it takes for it to speed to excuse me to dry there's there's all the little prep time of pulling the pine cone apart and prepping the leaves selecting the the rocks you want to use Selecting which pine cones you want to use. All these things take time. So, building a fairy house is not a fast craft. That's something you've got to kind of understand. As I said before, what we're going to do is we're going to put a second layer of pine cone leaves around our roof till we're complete. It's not just one layer, going to be multiple layers until we complete our roof for our fairy house. So you can see we've been continuing on with surfacing our fairy house with stones and pine cones. We're going to put a door on our fairy house. As I showed you before, what that's going to be, it's going to be glass and wood, sticks. It's going to be this right here. And this is going to be our door. It's going to be glued right there onto the can. So I'm not sure how that's going to fit on. If this whole thing has been kind of like she doesn't know what she's doing, it's because how this particular one has been done, I'm doing it for the first time. I've done a lot of fairy houses, but each one is different. And so how it's going to come out is always a surprise. <laughs> and I'm Hopefully, you're going to experience the same surprise I do. So, the first thing I'm going to do is put the glass on. It's not perfect, but there you go. And this is a door. I've never done, I've never done quite this kind of door before. Okay, that's the door. We're going to put this to the side and let it dry. And all I can see is, eek, I hope it stays on and starts good. And now, 
we're going to bring this to the front and we're going to put the second layer of pine cone needles on. Now we've got the first layer When you start doing this and your little thing starts moving, I find that I put a, some kind of towel or cloth under it helps to stop the thing from sliding. I'm also running out of glue in this. I have another one, but I'm trying to stop from using it until this one is completely, completely dry. Here we go. Hi. We're going to continue putting on the second layer of pine needles around our roof and then. I believe that everything has dried around the body of our fairy house. So here we go. I went and also got my second tube of glue. So we're going to continue along this. Okay, we're going to set this aside over here. Let that glue set a bit going to bring the body over here and we're going to put the rocks fill it in around the sides around our door so you can see the door set really well I'm touching this a little the sticks which is a frame of our door aren't moving so that worked out really well now one of the things I've been thinking about is to maybe paint the sticks around our door frame to make them stand out a bit more. And I have some gold paint or some iridescent paint that could do really well there. So I'll think about that. Or maybe I'll pick another color. I don't know. But I have a lot of different paints. So that's filled in. And I'm going to set this aside and let it dry. And I'm going to bring back the frame. And do you know what? Just that minute or two did it. The pine cone leaves have set. So the glue is enough. So I'm going to put the third and just about final little bit of bareness here. So I'm going to put some stuff on top. Just pick, look through your pine leaves and pick some that are a little bit narrow and just put them on top. Now go through your pine leaves and you kind of there's a little bare spot that's a little narrow and I'm just going to stick one kind of sideways just right dead on top there and there we're finished now this just has to dry and I'm setting this here and now put this to the side I'm gonna take a look at this and these have firmed up a bit now I put really big rocks on this side but this side doesn't have a quite enough room now I th think I should have done the door first so I could measure 
how much room I'm, I needed for each size rocks and stuff. But live and learn. I planned each element a little differently. And let's here we go. There. Okay. I'm going to pause this for a second and I'm going to go and get that gold paint I was talking about. Okay, here I am. Now what I'm using is called Folk Art Trusted Quality Extreme Glitter. Basically, it's it's a glitter finish, acrylic paint. I'm very fond of it. This is what it looks like. It looks white, the little thing. It's What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put it rather heavily on the frame. When it dries, it almost dries translucent. And you're going to have a really heavy kind of glitter look on it. I think that this is, will be needed because the little sticks I used are really dark and the can is painted dark. Oops, well, I made a mess, but it's okay. I'm gonna use most of that paint. And I think having the door outlined in gold will be really helpful. And since fairies are supposed to be a little magical, this will be helpful. After all, you don't want the fairies not to be able to see their own doorway. I'm going to do a little wash over the little glass. But I don't want to make this too thick because the whole point of this is it's glass and you don't want this to be too... You want the glass to come through. But having a little wash of glass is nice. A little wash of glitter on the glass would be nice. Same thing with the green glass too because you want the green to come through. There. Now, I think, I was thinking about doing just like the ends of the pine cones. You could think like, wow, magic a magic pine cone, a giant pine cone. I've had a lot of people ask when they saw my uh, pine cones, where did you get a pine cone that big? There are giant pine cones, but I didn't get those. <laughs> I did it. So I'm just going to do a couple of these here and there. And you know, instead of squeezing this again and making another giant mess, I should have had a palette, but I can't think where. I have some palettes, but I have no idea among my craft stuff what I did with it. So I'm just going to do some here and there, some ends. The roof is drying, the body is drying, 
basically, we're going to pause again. And in 10, 15 minutes, I'm going to come back. I'm going to put them together and you'll see what they look like. Don't worry, I'm going to include some still pictures when they're, it's all completely done and show you what it looks like. Bye now. Okay, our little break is over. Everything is dry. Didn't take long. Can you see the gold? It stands out a little bit like I hoped. This is our surface, our can, or our fairy house. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> I'm holding it upside down. This is the top. Now, I said always have it up, have the top, or excuse me, the bottom of the can up. Why? Because hopefully you're going to have this outside. You don't want your fairy house filling up with rain. Think about that. Even if you have a roof on it, you never know. Now, there's a little bit of glitter on here. Now, what I used, the Folk Art Extreme Glitter, it's kind of a translucent gold, but you know, you can paint the tips with any kind of paint you like. You could do it with white, you could do it with black, you could do it with green. I have some green glitter I thought to add to it. Now, I made the roof kind of extra big and it looks, it works, it sets. Now I'm gonna lift the whole thing up and I'm gonna tip it so you can see what it looks, looks like. There it is. And don't worry, I'm going to include some stills. And remember, this isn't fastened on, so you can glue it on here however you like. You can tip the roof further back, further forward, but if you further forward, you're going to block the door. So, this is the door. And I'm going to slowly rotate it so you can see. I like the natural look. That's something all of my fairy houses have in common. But you can make your fairy house whatever you like. If you have a lot of crafting supplies and whatnot, you can cover the whole fairy house with buttons if you like. Or artificial flowers. Whichever you like, whatever works for you. Now, I will include some still pictures to tell you what this, how this came out. It came out, I think, rather well. This has been a series, include gazing balls, no so dolls, and ends with fairy houses. Hopefully, by the time you're finished, you'll have your own fairy garden. Thank you for joining me for this crafting fun, and you have a nice day. Bye now. Mm -hmm.